from the Westin Bonaventure Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Soap Central, celebrating 25 years of Daytime Emmy Awards red carpet coverage, presents the 50th annual Daytime Emmy Awards red carpet with your host, Dan Kroll. Sharon Case, Daytime Emmy nominee tonight. I'm curious, as you're making your way one-third down the red carpet, what's going through your mind? Um, I think that this is one of those moments where you're not thinking anything. You're just kind of dizzy and trying to do a good job. And, you know, um, trying to make sure you do everything right or you talk to everyone and say what you wanted to say. Um, and, um, you know, try to find some joy in it because it's like, you know, what brides always say at their wedding, it's such a big night that the next day they don't even remember. I want to remember it. I'm trying to take it all in. Well, the good thing is when the nominations came out and you and I talked, you were headed up to Pasadena. So it's a good thing you've ended up at the right spot. That's, that's a win right there. Honestly, we ended up in the right spot and I kind of had confidence in that the whole time when the Emmys were postponed. I thought, you know what, they're just going to reset it for another day. It'll probably be late in fall. And here we are. And I love the idea that this is a holiday event now. I mean, it, it's kind of crowded to do that along with holidays, but I was happy to wear a holiday color. It is. It's really Really good. Thank you. Really good. So, something I like to do, because I like to put people to the test. Oh, great. Sorry. No. 30 seconds or less. I need to know everything that's happened to Sharon, the character, in the last year. Oh, wow. Well, Cameron Kirsten, who was an old stalker boyfriend of hers, came back to town and killed you. These ex-stalkers, you know. And this time, he kidnapped my daughter. But... I killed him. I stabbed him. You seem to enjoy it. You, you like that. You have a big smile. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to stab. Yeah. Sometimes if you work in a daytime drama, you do. <laughs> Is that the first stabbing? I don't know. Is it? Well, the first time he came around, I clobbered him over the head with a bottle and I thought he was dead. This time I made sure to bring a knife. You don't bring a bottle to a knife fight. <laughs> a bottle doesn't kill any bad guy on the soap ever. Uh, you mentioned the holidays. You're very festive. Are you on the naughty or the nice list this year? I hope I'm on the nice list this year. I've tried. And if you're not? I don't know. Wait till next year. There's always next year. One of the other things I like to do is I like to get people who I'm talking to, since you're going to be asked questions all night, I give you the opportunity to ask a question. There's a question submitted by the last folks that I talked to, and the question for you, and they didn't know who it was going to be, is which came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh my goodness. I think the chicken. The chicken came first. And then laid an egg. And that's the final answer? And there were more chickens. And <laughs> so now I'm going to give you the opportunity. It okay. can be any question that you want, and I don't know who it's going to be. It could be the person next to you, it may not be. What okay. would you like me to ask the next person who I talk to? Oh, let's see. How about um, chicken and egg? We're on that subject. So how about, um, you know, I don't know. It can be anything. Anything like. It can be what cereal did you like? I mean, it can be anything you want me to ask. Anything that's going on. Yeah, like what, what was your favorite childhood cereal? We're going to go with it. See okay. what happens. Okay. I'll report back to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. All Good right. luck tonight. Good night.